Bailey, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Lee Sam? Good. Did you have to trek really far to come to the show? Um, no, like 20 minutes. Okay. I almost said where, but then I was like, should I tell people where I live? You can tell a city. I mean, unless you don't want to. Santa Clarita. <laughs> Santa Clarita. Okay, you're up yeah, north. Yeah, okay. just a little bit. How's it up there? Um, it's been cold. I don't know if it's been cold as much in the city, but it's been um, very chilly, and I thought winter was done. So yeah. I wasn't a fan of that, but. I saw frost on the ground, which I've never When seen. I was driving home the other night, it was like, beware of icy roads on my little car alert thing. And I was like, I should get a milkshake. Yeah. So I did. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> well, I know it was cold, but I wanted a milkshake. So we went to In-N-Out and we got milkshakes. Fair. Yeah. Sometimes that's that's weird how like it's cold outside, but you still want that, that cold, icy drink. Yeah. Plus, yeah. like I had the heat going in my car. Like I was comfortable. It was yeah. fine. I love frozen like ices, uh, like like lemon ices. Same. I also yeah. thought you were just going to say you love Frozen and I was going to be like me too. One or two. <laughs> <laughs> uh I don't I don't think it's a bad movie. It's just not my 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 jam. Is that weird? Yeah. yeah. That's fine. Frozen 2 is better than the first Frozen. I oh. said what I said. The music I think is better. The story is better. The powers are cooler. Right. So anyway, that's Why my, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> that's my Frozen moment. This is this might be controversial. Uh, so mm -hmm. usually sequels aren't as good as the, mm -hmm. the first movie, but you're saying the sequel to Frozen. Yes. Frozen 2. Yes. Much better than the first one. Oh, yes. Wow. I, th I just think it's better because I mm -hmm. also just like... Like what? <sighs> okay, so in the first Frozen, the last song is He's a Bit of a Fixer Upper, sung by the trolls. And I think it's just not a strong song to be the last song that like people sing, right? Okay. But in the second one, Anna gets this really cool song about like how she's going to like continue fighting and doing mm. the next right thing and i just think it's more of a powerful moment also i think the story's cooler yeah, yeah i like that no that that's a legitimate thing i remember i think i saw the first one where why did i watch the first one that's actually a good why question would you not watch the first one this is now frozen podcast this is this is the mm -hmm. frozen podcast we've changed it it's not we sam's world it's frozen mm -hmm. with bailey and we sam yep uh, <laughs> <laughs> a thousand episodes um, yeah yeah, I'm trying to figure out what, when I would watch the first one. I'm the worst actor mm -hmm. at watching TV shows or movies or anything like that. First of all, shows like Fear of the Walking yeah. Dead or mm -hmm. Walking Dead mm -hmm. that are acted so well, but they're just high drama. They give me too much anxiety. Yeah. And I don't, I already have enough anxiety in my real life. So I'm like, I don't want to watch that. Yeah. I feel like I'm, I try to be on top of it, but like I love all the Disney movies. So that's why I'm just very yeah. How old passionate are you? about that. 23. 23. Okay. What was like the first dis like the, when you, the first Disney films you grew up with? I really loved Beauty and the Beast growing up. Like my okay. grandma made me like my own bell dress. Wow. And like I wore it to like our costume parade in elementary school and everything like that. I was really into Beauty and the Beast. The original? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I like the new one with, like, Emma Watson and everything, but, yeah. like, the original cartoon, it was so good. Yeah. And I love reading, and Belle loves reading, and I was like, she's cool. So. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, I, did you grow up with Disney original movies? Yes, DCOMs. I freaking love DCOMs. I've never heard them called that before. Well, then you're not a real fan. <laughs> oh, don't D I'm not a real fan, Disney Bailey. Disney Channel original movie, DCOM. I grew up with the, uh, now Now I'm really not a real fan, uh, Xenon. Yes, Xenon Girl, Girl of the 21st Century. century yeah. Xenon the sequel. Classic. <laughs> now is the sequel as good as the first? Mm, that's a moment where I think Xenon's the original. You got to keep it in the first one. Thank you so but much. But I think, I, I think they were fulfilling the need. I think everyone yeah. wanted the sequel. Brink. Yep. Mm -hmm. Brink is really good. Yes. Um, uh, Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off. Ooh, no. No, I don't think that counts. You don't like you don't like it or like you don't know it? Or? I don't know it and I don't think it accounts with the original ones. Would you like to weigh in? What do you mean it doesn't count? I don't know. Like, Do you I, know what movie we're talking like, about? Like, no, but it, if it's a <laughs> Disney Channel original movie, why does it not count? It's about a baseball player named Eddie, but he wants to be a cook. So he, he's, it's kind of like high school musical kind of concept, uh, but it's about baseball and cooking. And then he goes into this cooking competition. This is the first time I've heard anybody talk about the movie. So that's why I feel like it doesn't count. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure it's probably on Disney Plus by now. Okay. So What, what, what are some other good Disney original movies? Oh. High School Musical. The trilogy is perfection, and then now there's High School Musical, the musical, the series. Wow, <laughs> I'm I'm a little bit blown away by your intensity with these movies. I like it. I like it. I grew up in the House of Mouse. I feel like so. Yeah, I grew up with like really 
interesting movies. Like we had the you know the Disney originals. Mm -hmm. Then we had like what was that one? Uh, so weird. Did you grow up with that TV show? I don't think that so. That was a Nick show, I believe. Nick show. Uh, but, you know, Nickelodeon and Disney were, like, intertwined. Are you afraid of the dark? Mm. No, I'm I'm a little older than you. I'm yeah. literally a decade <laughs> and some older than you. So we grew up. I like it. Avatar The Last Airbender, Danny yes. Phantom. That's a, great, that's a great one. Yeah. Those are, those are my Nickelodeon ones of choice. You know, okay, here's a great thing that we I'd love to talk to you about that. Yeah. I think taking anime to mm -hmm. real life, mm -hmm. to live action, is one of the hardest things to do. Yes. And off the top of my head, I can't think of like a really good live action from an anime. You know, like somebody who's mm -hmm. taken an anime and made it into live yeah. action. Um, it, it, there's something about what you can get away with, with in the anime world that mm -hmm. you can't in the live action world. Yeah. The goofiness right the rambunctiousness of and even if it's in like a serious situation transferring it to mm -hmm. real life it just looks so i don't know it's it's you don't yeah you, you can't suspend your your disbelief exactly so that's the thing because i don't okay this usually happens when i mention avatar but i don't actually watch anime but okay. let's talk like animation in general right because it's totally about the suspension of disbelief because like let's think about lion king mm -hmm. and then they made the lion king live action which was really just another animation but just like more realistic animation and i i didn't love it like mm. i just think like if i'm gonna listen to lions talking and singing i want them to have like big bright eyes and like yeah. you know be like very colorful like the original is and like seeing them look just like someone unleashed a zoo and they're just barely moving their mouths and everything i don't it's it's all about the suspension of disbelief because right. there, you can get away with things when you're doing a cartoon or an animation that you can't in live action. Right, right, right. So I think you nailed it on the head. Yeah. There's there's one that I've seen some clips from. I heard people say uh, Cowboy Bebop. Haven't seen it. Cowboy Bebop? Nope. Nope. That's a B-no. That's a B-no. It's one of the <laughs> best anime series of all time. But they made a live action, didn't they? Yeah, that's okay, what I mean. Okay. But the, if you get a chance, actually mm -hmm. watch the original. And it's very stylized. Mm -hmm. And it's... Oh, this is a great way to describe it. Okay. Have you ever had coffee and lemonade? At the same time? In one drink. It's like a coffee lemonade. It's mixed with le coffee and lemonade mixed together. No, I have not. It sounds disgusting. It does? Yeah. And I saw it on a menu once. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, no way. And my friend was like, no, no, you got to try it. It actually works. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. And I thought it was going to be one of those like weird, like, I don't know bacon donuts where it's mm -hmm. the salty sweet and i'm like no 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 I, it's not my thing mm -hmm. no it works it's like thinking of a new color that you've never known before okay that's what it tastes like mm -hmm. and cowboy bebop the anime series mixes this noir with mm -hmm. jazz and then it also has these like really goofy moments mixed with uh, like super serious moments that you don't think would mix together. And yeah. then it just works. Um, yeah, it's really, really interesting. And they take their time with it, which I feel like a lot of things nowadays don't. It's very, a lot of things mm -hmm. get rushed or too slow. Yeah. That's in my opinion. Pacing's super important. Mm -hmm. You gotta like have the right energy because I feel like nothing's more frustrating than like a season that ends and you're like, that's it. Yeah. There's nothing like that could have been done in fewer episodes and you could yeah. have had a bigger payoff as a finale. Right. Mm -hmm. I think there is one show in particular that a lot of people dislike the uh, end of. Have you seen Game of Thrones? Yes. Yeah. I actually came to the Game of Thrones party late. That's fine. But I so I feel like the ending of Game of Thrones didn't like frustrate me the same way that it did other people because I hadn't invested years of my life watching it uh, as it was yeah, coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really didn't even start, I think, until right before the final season started or something like that, and I just wasn't keeping up with it very well. So, like, it wasn't, you know, anything crazy, and I wasn't like, oh, my God, this is so frustrating. How could they do this to these characters? I was like, huh, interesting choices here. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, the one thing I did like mm -hmm. was the build up for a lot of the characters is characters is demise mm -hmm. there yeah. was like a lot of time taken with a lot of those scenes and moments and you just never get that with tv mm -hmm. and um that was the one thing i did like 
But yeah, there there was just a satisfaction that was missing from yeah. the entire season. I, I, I love it when a show hmm. ends and you're like, oh, I'm so frustrated it's ending. But also like, okay. Yeah. I'll tell you a show I loved, Breaking Bad. I haven't seen Breaking Bad. Okay. That's the show you should... It, it's so lucky for people who have never seen it and start mm-hmm. it because you don't have to wait week to week because yeah. it's the most anxiety-ridden show. The last season, I'm just like, I can't I can't watch this show anymore. Yeah, but you said you have anxiety, so why would you do that to yourself? Exactly. That's where I learned my <laughs> lesson was from Breaking Bad. I watched that a while ago, okay. and I was like, I, I can't do this week to week thing. It's just driving me crazy. I just want the show to be done because this is too much a part of my life now. See, I feel like I love comedies because, like, yeah. they don't give you that, like, ah, mm. about all that craziness. And, like, you know, it's not as morbid, and it's yeah. funny, and it's lighthearted. So. What do you like comedy-wise? Um, New Girl. Okay. The Good Place. Schitt's Creek. One of my favorite shows of all time is Gallivant, but it's very niche. Yeah. So it's a, Yeah, it's Ooh. like it was on Fox for like two seasons. It was way before its time. But it's like a renaissance musical comedy with songs by Alan Menken, who does like all the Disney music and everything. And it's so funny. Renaissance um, music comedy. I yeah. love that. But also Brooklyn Nine-Nine I'm watching right now for the first time. And I love that. Yeah. Pretty so, silly. Yeah. Any of those, like anything that makes me like really laugh or is just very smartly written. Have you seen the original Office, the British version? I haven't. That's a great one. I'm also, very niche. unpopular opinion to some people, yeah. I'm a team Parks and Rec over team Office. I've seen both. Okay. But. Well, it's okay. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> it's fine. Well, uh, no, I loved the Office because I saw the original mm-hmm. British one and I was like, oh, this is going to be a tough pull off. But it, they, they change it a little bit. But if you like niche mm-hmm. comedy and you like cringe comedy. What do you mean like cringe comedy? Like Cody Ko cringe comedy? Yeah, like when he talks, yeah. like some of his videos, mm-hmm. like he, like, uh, yeah, yeah. There are moments in the original British office you're just like, oh. There were some moments oh. like that in season one of the American one where I was like, like when you go back and watch it, you're like, hoo Yeah. This British one is more realistic. Mm-hmm. It, it feels like there was actually a documentary crew there. Okay. The, like the, the, the American pilot for the office and the British uh, pilot for the office they're almost similar, mm-hmm. like pretty similar. I think 80% of the, do you remember it, uh, Mr. Payton? I don't remember. It's the same pilot, basically. <laughs> yeah, you like know? 80, 85% yeah. of it is the same. Okay. But after that, it starts, they start mm-hmm. changing up. And then season two, especially, is where it starts getting completely yeah. different. Um, oh, man, I would love to know your thoughts then. I always love knowing what people's like comedy tastes are mm-hmm. and then have them watch The British Office because they either love it Mm -hmm. or they hate it because they're like it's too real it's too like it makes me too cringe Mm -hmm. watching it yeah yeah a little uncomfortable yeah you watch cringe tiktoks here's the thing is like say yes no 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 no. i i i have tiktok yeah i've started using it a little bit to watch things but like i don't i don't think cringe tiktoks are in my algorithm right now yeah they should be. They they should be. But like I, oh, I oh my god, <laughs> I might I might have to w- demonetize this episode just for oh. us to watch this one. Vid- no joke. I I rare I can sit through a lot of cringe. Mm-hmm. I just spit everywhere. It's okay. So coronavirus. I'm kidding. No, no, I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I had to stop. It gave me not only cringe chills, mm-hmm. but I was going like like this, and I was like, I I gotta watch something else. I just spit again. I don't know what's going on. I'm very... You're passionate right I'm now. I'm passionate about it. You're pulling a, a Jonathan Groff. It's okay. Who's Jonathan Groff? Who's Jonathan Groff? What's wrong with you, Lisa? He's in Frozen. He was in Hamilton. He Let it go. King. Let it... I was trying one, to... Okay. But... Oh, come on. I was trying to win I you know. back. I All right. Know. It's okay. I really don't know who Jonathan... Uh, he... he... I'm looking this up while oh, you're yeah. talking. He plays the king in, like, Hamilton, and he was a character on Glee, and he's just been, like... It's like a whole niche joke, I feel like, that he can sometimes spit because he gets very into his oh, performance and it yeah. just kind of like flies um that's me most of my life sometimes when i get nice. too passionate you know, <laughs> or i start screaming oh, okay or people think i'm angry and i'm not mm-hmm. i'm just passionate that's my thing people don't think i'm angry i'm just like a lot yeah <laughs> <laughs> my friends are like shirt. like my friends joke they're like i'll be doing something they're like oh my god i'm so scared of her <laughs> I'm like, so scared of her. And I'm like, knock it off! 
because they do it to people now like when we meet new friends yeah, yeah, yeah my best friend will be like oh my god i'm so scared of her and i'm like stop bringing other people into this joke not all our <laughs> friends can be scared of me so that made me a little that was really intense i can be intense but like yeah. in a fun way yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like i like to think it's endearing <laughs> oh my god oh okay yeah <laughs> I'm, <laughs> this is so, this is such a bad, okay, I'm going to have to send it to Mr. Payton. I just want to make sure it's the same one. Oh. I didn't like that. <laughs> what, what am I hearing? What are you saying? I'm going to send it to you in a text message, all right? Okay. Am I going to get to see it or just hear the audio? Oh, no. We're going to throw we're it out. Oh, okay, okay. Now, what's going to be easiest for you editing-wise? Do you just want to leave it up on there? Oh, no, we don't have the third camera right now, do we? Uh, no, we don't, so I'll put it up on the side for oh. everybody and you're so lucky that I went oh I got spare time today maybe I can figure out how to put the computer audio through the soundboard and you are so snaps lucky for you. I, don't, what, I did that today snaps? Snaps. snaps oh you're so old what him oh I was like for <laughs> snapping it's this oh my gosh okay now disclaimer mm -hmm. for everybody listening okay and me <laughs> here's the thing I, oh. Don't forget Mother Truckers haters make us famous. And oh. you're the only one more view on my list. My eyes are getting watery because I already, like, this is so bad. I, I got to, like, right here in the video, I believe. Okay. Like, Wait, I but why does it say 20 it's minutes? 20 minutes? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're not going to watch the 20 okay, minutes. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Should I tap um, out when I can't handle it anymore? <laughs> <laughs> it's an endurance test. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Turn it off. This is okay. Mm -hmm. I want to. I want to just say yeah. this. Okay. I'm. I'm never making fun of the people. No. For this of kind of course. stuff, I just love the the spectrum mm -hmm. of what is to be a human. Yes, people can be so quirky. Right. Everyone has their own quirks. Right. So, Mr. Payton. All right. Let's play it. <laughs> We're not hearing it. You know what? Not, I good. I realize that's because I have this down here. Yeah. Boom. You know what? All right. Might be a little loud. But... No, no, no. Okay. Trust, trust. All right. I'll... All right. A lot of people are sitting here talking about my wife. Okay. Do you guys remember this video? Bro, bro, bro it up. That one. When I said, if you touch my girl, I will hurt you. I'm not playing. I, mean, I have hurt somebody before. Many people. I may not, I may be a crazy white boy and don't look that much intimidating and sit there and may not have that big of muscles. Oh. <laughs> I get another ways, buddy boy. He's Trust humble. and believe that. I like it. I'm a Detroit boy. Detroit, Michigan. Rapper fucking Zen. There you go. Come at me and my wife. I dare you. Because. Y'all, that's a beautiful woman right He's there. He's fighting for her. Yeah. I love that. He's in love. Say what you want when you've had four kids and 15 years of depression. Oh, not real. <laughs> Motherfuckers, that's not right. That's Mental not right. health advocate. Yeah. There you go. Episode. And we keep going. Oh, we keep going. Oh, we keep going. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So I was getting a tea that matches my outfit today. Oh, so this is like compilation. As I was doing so, a man approached me and he said, oh, wow, you look good today. And I said, I know. And then he looked at me. It's almost like you women are confident. That's gross. No, men are weird. Stop <laughs> talking to women you don't know. How are you expecting them to make also, friends women with that do attitude? Not get dressed up and look nice for the gratification of men. No, but I still like to be told I look sometimes. nice so I can take a good selfie to send to my friends so they can there tell me is. I'm really pretty. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Please stop talking to women that you don't know. That's just weird. It's. So her her thesis statement is I don't dress up for strangers to give me compliments. I dress up so my friends can compliment me. Right. But she doesn't want to make new friends. Right. I don't believe her yeah. at all. That it even happened? No, I don't. Oh, oh, <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I so bet someone just complimented me on my way to the studio. They said, they said, um, I looked really good. And I said, I know. You see how false that feels like? That that just feels so like well, fake. Well, the, the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is like it's not that it happened or didn't happen. Yeah. It's that it happened, and she said, "Hold on, I know what I need to do now. Tell everyone." 
It's like that's the problem, I feel right. like. You know, let's put a pin in that because I got to ask you a question as a woman. What's it like? Oh, boy. To be a woman? To be a woman. No, I'll, I got I to go. <laughs> What's it like being a woman? No. All right. It's God's well, gift. It's God, it is God's gift. I, it just, Sometimes I wonder who films that. I'm black and I'm proud. All of the races can sit the fuck down. I'm the reason the culture around. If you black, match the sound. Who's the puppy? Now, Indian TikToks are my favorite. Did you know that? <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, Indian TikToks are my absolute favorite. I mean, look at this. He's being creative. He's doing the Joker face. This one was just cute. I don't know why it's in here. Yeah, I like her. Yeah. We have a furry here. I just watched Sweet Tooth, so I feel like that's season two. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Oh. He's vibing, though. Uh, you're so nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can we pause, pause that for just a second? If I saw Peyton doing that for a TikTok, I'd be like, hey, we're going to the hospital right now. Are, you, are you okay? Dude. You wouldn't let me vibe? Absolutely not. Oh. Into the thick of You call it vibing? He seemed really happy. I don't. It's so weird though, right? Like what he's do. Like what people. When people do that. Isn't that weird? Yes. And then I'd be curious. I know this is a compilation. But if you track down that TikTok. How popular is it? Oh, how super, pop yeah, like, super popular. I don't understand how it works. Like what makes a TikTok because let me tell you, my my best friend and like our neighbor, they made a TikTok once, and I swear to God, it was so funny. Ten views. What? Yeah. Well, uh, here's my theory. He seems like an attractive, like cool, hip young man. Not this, you Not mean the guy before? The guy before. We the don't guy, know this the guy, guy who was vibing. Yeah, yeah, I don't know this guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Listen, coming from actor to actor, I love when non-actors try to do scenes or like POV, like. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and this one is pretend that someone walks in that you don't like. Yeah. So, Peyton? That you don't like. <laughs> ah! POV. It's over. Don't worry. Really, Melissa? POV, you're getting kidnapped. Oh, by the stop. Vampire. It's just so many POVs. That's when the real conversation is going to start. I can't. Well, I, I'm tapping out. Like, that's where I stop. I can't. It's also really hard for me because I feel like, as an actor, like, I'm like, okay, you lip syncing to another person's performance doesn't necessarily equate the Oscar. No. Like, like that's all you did. Right. Like, and then you went. <laughs> That's what happened. We all I, watched it. It's, this one says you're getting kidnapped by a vampire, but I'm also a gentleman from the 1800s. Wait. Oh my I'm god. Wait. I, no, let's keep, let's keep rolling. Shh, shh, shh. Be quiet, darling. Trust me, I'll make you scream all you want later, but right ah. now you should be a good girl and be as quiet as a mouse. Can you do that? That has kind of like predator vibes. Yeah. So as much as I'd like to eat you here, I'd like to have some class. I'll take you out to dinner first. How does that sound? Though you do look quite tasty, I wish you were on the menu. At least he's a gentleman. It's all right. I'll save you the dessert. How does that sound? Change, do, you, do gentlemen eat people? Change gentlemen to pervert. Yeah. <laughs> also, I feel like if we were to really break down, I'm not sure the elements <sighs> correctly fit the 1800s description here. Yeah. Do you take someone yeah. out to dinner in the 1800s? Where are you guys going? Chili's? It, this bugs me. Did so people much. go to dinner in the 1800s? Like, I mean, yeah. Like there were re like pubs and like depends where you were at. I guess yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's the thing. Yeah. Also, like where are they that this is happening? And he because he's like, Shh, don't make a scene. Like, are they at a party? This is this is also. Be, let's go take a few steps back. Mm -hmm. He had to be in his bed just going, okay. I got let's an see. Idea. How can I be attractive yet show <laughs> off? 
my bad boy side, mm. but I love vampires. But really sexual, too. Yeah, but I want to be a gentleman. I, I don't want to, like, be too forward. Mm. But I got to make them know that I'm about the sex, too. Cause I'm, yeah. yeah. I'm a sexy vampire. <laughs> I'm a sexy 1800s vampire, love. <laughs> I mean, that is... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. I'm not I'm not the crazy one. I cannot be the crazy hashtag one. Hashtag POV. Hashtag British. Hashtag oops. That's my favorite. <laughs> That's my favorite. Hashtag oops. I, I just, I'm a, what do you mean oops? oops. oops. You just filmed a- this. You edited it. <laughs> like You have the lights going. Oops, I accidentally recorded my TikTok. I, I didn't know camera was rolling. Well, and that's like the other ones that like make me laugh is when it's like, when it's like, oh, she didn't know I did this. Right. And I'm like, so you guys just had the phone sitting on your dashboard filming and you totally caught her off guard. Yeah. Ah, you're so zany. You got me. <laughs> like, you know what? I'd rather hang out with the first guy we saw yeah. than this guy or the guy before him who was like, sorry, Melissa. That guy. <laughs> I'd rather hang out with the first guy. That was that guy. What about the guy who said it. someone walks in? I would, I honestly, I'd be, I'd love to talk to him be like, hey man, like what, like, are you doing this just to be creative or are you trying Mm -hmm. to be an actor? Like what's going on? Because if you're actually trying to be an actor, this is not the right way to go. Well, yeah. Flip side, there's a girl who just got cast on a Disney plus show. And when I like checked her out on TikTok, like she does a lot of these things. So I feel like then you fall into the the catch of like, Mm -hmm. if you're doing something and you're doing it well, then like you can see progress from it possibly <laughs> no you're, yeah. you're absolutely right but let's talk about like long term and okay. you know what it's like mm-hmm. working on a tv show mm-hmm. i think maybe raw talent can only get you so far doing yeah. tiktoks like this mm-hmm. you actually have to know your craft pretty well and especially being a tv actor because things need to change right on on the go you have to be able to adapt you have to like be i okay. think things like that might get you the meeting or the appointment okay but I don't think it's going to be what books you the job. Unless, of course, they're looking for something that has, like, possibly social media influence, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. But, like, ultimately, yeah, yeah, it's going to come down to the acting. Like, Studios are smart, too. Like, they can find out who appeals to the younger demographic on internet and everything. Like, remember when Jake Paul was on Disney Channel? Yeah. For, like, a year? Bizarre Vark baby. Yeah. And then they mutually parted. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That was the press release. And then uh, and then he did some things. He was the worked. most unprofessional person in the world. Oh, you worked with him? <laughs> Excuse me? You worked with him? <laughs> no. Okay. But what he how he talks <laughs> about his departure obviously shows he was super unprofessional. Jake Paul's my boy. <laughs> he's I he's see trying that. to get no, I he's, see he's, that. he's saying that just to get me angry because yeah, oh. <laughs> he knows I'm not a fan of the, them That's at okay. all. But, like, I, I get what you're saying. Like, they obviously have a vein on what's in, what's popular. Right. But they also need to pick someone who's going to do the job. Mm-hmm. Like. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if it gets, if they do a good enough job and it's not. Sometimes that's what, yeah. And it gets views and mm-hmm. they're like, we don't need, like, a super good actor. But we know we'll get at least 5 million views an episode on this because well, this TikToker is, has 60 million followers. Uh, we've made our money just by hiring her. Yeah, just going back to ye olden Disney Channel days, like, people make jokes on TikTok about it now when it would be like, oh, when Disney Channel would have some celebrity guest star and they walk in, not an actor, onto the set in whatever scene, you know, the character bumps into them. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Hey, watch where you're going. And everyone's yeah. like, oh, my God, that's... <laughs> yeah. And then that's it. That was their whole appearance. They're yeah, there yeah. to do that. And the Disney Channel would get to promote it and be like, Friday night, 8 p.m. on The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Like, yeah. this character. And you're like, wow, they're an actor? And then you're like, oh, maybe not. Uh, yeah. It's funny. I did I did one, one thing for a Disney show as a guest star actor. And I remember going in for my primary ad- audition. Um, I was just having fun. I was just mm-hmm. doing me. And I, like, you know, there's a pacing to multicam. Yep. Where it's like, da-da-da-da-da, joke, Bing. da-da-da-da, joke. Right. Yeah. So I was just doing my thing and I felt comfortable. I felt like it was grounded enough, but like a little bit of exaggerated because I knew the audience what yeah. they were looking for. A little wacky. Yeah. But, um, and then I remember like during the rehearsals, I was kind of doing that mm-hmm. and then keeping it like, oh no, I want to keep it like ground, like 
not like super grounded like, a, like but you don't want to feel like you're off in space and like you're like oh yeah. my god this feels right. ridiculous i had the director come up to me and be like hey um i think that's good but uh can you can you do it like bigger like like bigger you're you know? like yes chef i can thank you yeah sure sure i can mm -hmm. you know and it's just yeah. like you have to know what your audience is and it just hurts sometimes mm -hmm. but i will take your disney anecdote and play jenga i have not been on a disney project i would love to but I did go to a cattle call for Disney Channel when I was in oh. high school in oh. San Antonio, Texas. Yeah. I was going to tell how that went. Hundreds oh. of kids. <laughs> yeah. And that's probably even being generous. And like we got there relatively early. My mom and I went to Texas and we were like, this is how, oh my God, like look at me doing the thing. Yeah. They gave everyone the same, I don't know, four or five line monologue. Yeah. And they brought you in after waiting for eons. They brought you in, and I believe it was maybe like one or two people in there, and you you were lined up, step forward, said it, step forward, did it, step forward, did it. Thank you so much. Yeah. And I said, thank you. <laughs> and like they might have asked like maybe one person to like mm -hmm. stay behind, but it's it's really hard. And like, I mean, I've I um I used to like help out with castings and stuff as well and those were not cattle calls right so sometimes disney or nickelodeon would do talent searches and my acting coach in orlando she used to work for nickelodeon in casting right. so they would come to her studio and host them and those were things like agents or like reaching out to the schools drama departments so it wasn't like hundreds of kids right yeah but i like you see it and like i was guilty of it like you really think this is the moment and for some people like yes it will be but like if you aren't prepared what do you think is going to happen? See. <sighs> like luck has to meet hard work and preparation, I feel like. Yeah, you find that out later mm -hmm. on and down the line. I'll, okay, so when I was in, going into my 10th year in high school, mm -hmm. I'd come wait, out. What? Wait, 10th year, right? Yeah, 10th year. I was going into 10th, 10th grade. 10th grade. Oh, I was like, you were in high school for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I graduated last year. It was great. Finally did it. GPA congratulations 2.7 <laughs> nice yeah i'm a 4.0 girl are you really yes i'm a nerd ah, yeah <laughs> big old nerd why'd you do this i love that yeah <laughs> just subtle flex this nerd was also prom queen so you can have both wow that's on that is that on the resume no 4.0 prom queen <laughs> no but i feel like i should use it in like my anecdotes hi i'm bailey gavlik i'm 5-1 i was prom queen and uh, I'll be reading for the role of girl in bar. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how much do you hate, so, uh, what's it called, uh, uh, slates? Slates? Uh, I, just, I just always feel like I'm like, uh, I don't know. It's also hard because I'm like, you guys, don't you have this in the notes? What, what are you getting with the full, like th me saying that full body that you aren't mm -hmm. getting? There's no deform, like there's no deformities mm -hmm. or anything. Like I don't have an extra leg. Yeah, no. And I'm all, and I always have to like be happier than I am because this is how I usually want to. Uh, hey, thanks for watching. My name is We Sam Keish. I'm five eight. Uh, I'm based in LA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I so un I seem so uninterested, right? But that's mm -hmm. what you're asking for. I, I don't know. Yeah, and like I I have like a lot of personality, so I honestly feel like I oh. pull it back a little bit because like I don't know if, when I used to go in the room and everything I. I like it, you can be like, oh, this is like kind of genuine, and like I could read the room. And here I'm right. like, hey, I'm Bailey Gavlik. I'm five one. I'm over eighteen, and I'm based in Los Angeles. That's a really good slate. Thank you. Kind of jealous. Casting professionals, take yeah. note. Yeah. Ken Slate. Wow. Wow. Can read oh. off basic stats <laughs> without myself. Um, no. Oh, so, so going back to my story. Yes, sure. I, I, I Your tenth was, year in high school. I was going about to go to my tenth year. Mm -hmm. I went, came out here for a couple of months for pilot season. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was already late to the show because uh, I came out during the beginning of the summer. So pilot season had almost basically finished. Who hurt you? Who misinformed you? Um, <laughs> you just don't know these things, yeah. right? You just no, don't know. No, you really don't. Like, like, it is so much trial and error. If you have someone in your life who's kind of a step ahead yeah. and has figured some things out, like, ask them. Right, right, right. So that show, Phil of the Future. A classic. Yeah. So I went, I went and auditioned. For Phil. Yeah, and then I flew back to Oklahoma. They said, hey, do you have a producer session? Can you fly back? And I was like, sure. So I went back for the producer session, 
and to show you my ignorance of the whole thing, they gave me the whole script. And I was like, oh, I've got to memorize the whole thing. <laughs> I really thought I had to memorize the whole... Did you have an agent? Yeah, but... Oh, but you didn't ask them? No, because he's like, here's the whole script. And I just thought, oh, they want me to do all the... Lo- like, do the whole all- show. Do the whole show. And so I get there, and there oh. were other... It was a weird audition. I've never done that. It was like all the EPs, Mm -hmm. and then we had to go in there, and there were other characters. We had to do our, hey, I'm We Sam. I'm playing this. Um, Tell Mm -hmm. us a little bit about yourself. So like a mix and match. Yeah, kind of like that. And then it was, I, I saw other people start doing it, and I was like, oh, we're just doing the scenes from the original audition. Oh, shit, I didn't really prep. I Those are later, like, there's... Those are later on in the script. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. I did so bad. I felt like I did so bad. And um, I didn't get it. But what? it just shows you how, no like, you how unprepared and ignorant you are to the whole process without somebody really telling you what you have to do. I mean, I, now I feel like an idiot. Like, I thought I had to memorize the whole script. Yeah. They just wanted me to know it. Like, be familiar. Like, yeah. maybe know what happens. Yeah. And that's... Uh. See? Nobody tells you those things, though. You're from, like, I'm from Oklahoma. Never done this professionally. Yeah. yeah. I mean, honestly, like, Orlando is, uh, I feel like on the ladder of places you can be. Orlando's, like, mid-ladder. Like, Orlando has so many opportunities for creatives, and I'm so grateful really? for that. Yeah, like, because we've got the theme parks and things like that. I have a lot of friends that I know from growing up that do um. entertainment work at the theme parks, and they love it. There's, you know, a handful of commercials. 99% of them are non-union. Yeah. Um, and then you can do some self-tapes if you have an agent through things that are going to be in the southeast, you know, Georgia, et cetera. Yeah. Um, but really, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Like, yeah. shout out to my mom for trying to figure it out. But, like, yeah. I was shout just like, I want to yeah. act. And she was like, oh, God, okay. <laughs> and I was like, why isn't anything happening? And she was like, I don't know. I was like, yeah. and, you know, you meet, especially being, a, like, a young child actor, even just going on commercial auditions and running into other parents who are like oh and like you know just kind of put try to put you down yeah or like try to like tell you things and you're like i don't i don't know about that Mm -hmm. or that are like you know when oh well he he's been in front of uh we sam before you know yes we sam and him are very close oh that's the worst and i'm like congratulations I, i mean even in in an audition out here before everything like shut down and it was in person it was um it was like a producer callback and there were they had a bunch of the girls there and the character was supposed to have um red hair yeah and i was blonde at the time because that's my natural hair and a girl there had red hair and the girl was in there and the mom was talking to me and she was like oh your hair's so beautiful and i was like thank you and she was like yeah you know but like and i was like oh i just figure if they want to pick me, they'll pick me and we'll deal with that later. And she was like, oh, yeah, we used to, like, have experiences like that. But then we just learned that it's better to, you know, have what they're looking for. And I was like, wow. are you kidding me? And also, like, this was an office that, like, I'm very close with. So then they come out to get me and they're like, Bailey. And I was like, I was like, nobody cares about my hair color. <laughs> the girl they picked did not have red hair. I did an audition once for some independent film in florida back when i was living there they wanted an australian accent blonde hair light eyes australian accent i freaking love doing an australian accent and um i did it and i was like boom i did end up doing a day of like background work on it and i know the girl who booked it and she's so sweet she has red hair and did not do the accent and i was like so it wasn't my accent my accent was probably good so it's just so crazy and like it you really don't know you can only learn from asking people that you trust Mm -hmm. and experience yeah so yeah there definitely is no guidebook to it no and some people try to publish one and i'm like that that's great though that's one story yeah there are so many sometimes you just have to email people you don't know who you know you think you have a friend who's really good like friends with the person and then you just be like hey can we meet up for coffee because you're a really good friend really good friends with this mm-hmm. guy so weird mm-hmm. yeah it's sometimes horrible. you just have to do that and then sometimes it works out yeah i mean i just again to talk talking about like little things we've done that, where that by the like, way that's him i don't know if you i caught, I caught it okay. but i i mean it worked yeah so 
success. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but like things that you look back and you're like, what? So like before I moved out here and I was trying to get representation, I just did that thing where you cold email so many people. Oh yeah. And someone was nice enough to respond and they were like, hi, unfortunately you're a conflict with somebody on our roster. Okay. And yeah. myself was like, that's okay. Do you know anyone who might be looking for someone <laughs> like me? Wow. <laughs> they didn't respond, but I was like, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> you got to ask the hard questions. They got to reply. I got to reply. Seemed like an invitation for a conversation to me. I yeah. love that. That should be normal. Do you that, know that, anyone? That should be the norm. Yeah. Just to respond with that. Well, that's not as bad as uh, I know an actor um, who... Uh, you know, really wanted to be mentored by Daniel Day Lewis, so he. Did um, they have a connection to Daniel Day Lewis? I mean, no. <laughs> so what they did is they went on IMDb Pro. Mm. Great and they tool. Called their agency. Oh. And they called and they said, "By the way, this is me." Um, <laughs> they said, Wait, are you being for real? Yeah. Oh yay! They, I, I was under the thing like, okay. If I want to be the best actor, I gotta learn from the best. I'm trying to see if. And I'll, there's no reason I should not train with Daniel Day Lewis. Right. I'm gonna be. I'll, I'll pay for all my travel expenses. He'll like me. I'm gonna. I'm telling him I'm serious. <laughs> I'd I'd worked a little bit on TV before, but I want to be. Mm-hmm. I want to be as good, um, as him. So I called the his agent. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, fucking agent answered. <laughs> oh, they answered. And they go, "Hello." <laughs> I go, "Hi, is this blah blah blah?" Like, yeah, who's this? And I'm like, "Hi." <laughs> and you're going through the script you practice. My name is Wee Sam. I'm an actor and I'm looking for. <laughs> At that moment, I go, You should have practiced this before you oh. got on the phone. Oh, and no. I stumbled on my words and whatever. And they're like, Yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't do that. Bye. <laughs> it just hangs up on me. I was like, Okay, cool. But me would have called back and said, But do you know anyone who does? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Gotta ask for what yeah. you want sometimes. My manager was nice enough to take the letter I wrote and be like, hey, is there any way? I know this is a long shot, and but they did t- take my letter. So I was like, okay, great. Yeah. That's sweet. What th- what was the acting scene like in Oklahoma? I did a lot of theater work over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I went to school out there for the University of Tulsa, and I had a really good mm-hmm. teacher in my university. And my high school program had a great program as well. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah That's good. a lot of Shakespeare in the Park during the summers improv group that turned like toured around Oklahoma a little bit nice yeah not as much like television and film training but no now there's more film that's being shot out there it's really started to get a scene in Oklahoma a very tiny one but yeah they're doing a lot of cool stuff now yeah more so than ever it's cheaper to film there as well Mm -hmm. Um, it's still a very small fraction of what it is out here or or in Atlanta yeah Um, but um, yeah it's I think if you really want, once we have more in-person auditions, L.A. is a really great place to if you want to be a TV actor, I mm-hmm. feel like. I know you can audition for anything that goes everywhere, but there's so many casting offices, and I think that's where it's really going to help you more. I I've, I've know people have said different things sometimes, especially now, because they're like, it's self-tapes. You can be anywhere, and I'm like, I don't I don't completely agree. Like, I just feel like, People take you a little more seriously yeah. when you're here. You know, they the maybe the bar's a little higher, the expectations are a little higher. But if if you're in LA trying to do the darn thing, then like you, you're really going for it, mm-hmm. as opposed to sending in a self tape from anywhere. And that's that's crazy because like being from the South, I know so many talented people who even while living in Florida have gone on to book really really great jobs, but. If for whatever reason, it's like, I don't know. I just, I'm like, it's where, it's where you got to be. Yeah. No, so. I agree with you. I agree. New York, I hesitantly say yes to just because it's so much more expensive. Mm-hmm. I know there's a lot of acting work and casting yeah. offices over there. Mm-hmm. So if it's, if you like New York City and that kind of energy, then cool. But it's just a lot easier to survive out in LA. <laughs> Spurped. It's okay. I didn't want you to smell my burp. Your water bottle kind of matches your shirt and your outfit today is this on purpose no i just like bright colors you do like pretty colors you seem very happy and energetic and exuberant and uh out out there in a a positive way i'm a big old extrovert yeah (laughs) yeah 
Yeah. Yeah. That, always, that might always not sound been convincing, like but like, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I believe yeah. you. I just, has that always been like that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean. Steven, uh, Steve told mm-hmm. me like, you're very energetic out there. You, you like to talk. You have a, like good, good energy about you. That's so, so I was nice like, yeah. Him. And then I saw, uh, I, you know, I went on the Instagram and mm-hmm. saw some of your work. I was like, yeah, cool. Yeah. I'd love to talk with her. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I just feel like it's always been that way. I don't really know. It's, it's just innately part of who I am and it's not something I, I'm very fortunate that I never really had issues with who I am like mm. going back to school and everything I just did things that I wanted to do like mm. unashamedly like I love uh, events and like dressing up and like costumes and things like that for fun stuff so whenever we had like homecoming week in retrospect maybe I took it too far maybe I took the outfits too far Oh, yeah? But, like, also, I liked it, so I wore it. Or, do you have any pictures of these outfits? I feel like I might. Like, one day was, like, a Heroes and Villains Day, and so I wore a full-on Queen of Hearts dress from Alice in Wonderland. And so oh, that... Wow. Or, like, I dressed up for Halloween, because I was like, I'm going to wear a costume on Halloween. I wore a freaking princess dress. Yeah. I looked so cute. I was like, Rapunzel. <laughs> And, like, most people didn't dress up on Halloween. And I was like, that's a choice. Peyton, do you think I'm an introvert or an extrovert? You're a weird combination of both. Mm. You can turn either one. You have, like, a switch. It depends on where you are. Okay. You know? Yeah. Like, when you're doing the show, you're an extrovert. This was me on Halloween. That's not too bad. No, it's not. No. But, like... This was also me one day for homecoming week. Too far. <laughs> <laughs> can we can we show the cameras? Yeah, I don't even know. This one? Oh, yeah. There you yeah. go. Now, I was a fawn. I don't know why I picked that, but it seemed cool at the time. Really free-handed the makeup. Gave it a go. But Jesus. that was Halloween? No, that was homecoming week. Oh, no, that was homecoming this week. This said character day for homecoming week is my favorite. <laughs> what character was I? I made it up. This fawn. was This was Halloween one year. My little Rapunzel dress. You toned it down for Halloween. Because I really like for Rapunzel. Like, okay. That's, All right. This was like the character day I'm talking about. So I'm the one in the Queen of Hearts dress. Like I wore this stuff to bad. school. Oh, yeah. But like, not, I mean, oh. but like you also have to understand like other people's version <laughs> okay. of dressing up for those days is like a yeah. themed t-shirt and like something cute. Like I've yeah. just. I'm the opposite. Yeah. I really just like I, I have my own style. I like what yeah. I like. And I've it's just good. always kind of known who i am so. that's awesome yeah that's good yeah and some people are like oh my god and i'm like well if it's too much for you that's yeah that's cool like i'll find somebody else <laughs> 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 i don't want to be your friend anyway no no i'm not i'm not trying to make you feel weird about it or anything like that i okay, just yeah, yeah. yeah i promise it's I like promise. not too much for you right <laughs> <laughs> just kidding i don't care i you're wearing I'm, a donut hat we're the same Cafe Dulce. I don't know if you've ever been there. I haven't. I thought it was just a donut hat. <laughs> I mean, there is. I mean, it is a donut we were, hat. Didn't know we were representing something. Yeah, it's actually a really good place. Mm. Yeah. Um, no, I. I got to. I think it was in college. I think because I had been doing theater, I was lucky mm. enough to do theater yeah. so much all the time, and dressing up was. Part of like yes. theater, as yes. you know, and doing acting classes. So when it came time for Halloween, I was always like, oh, like I do this mostly here. <laughs> so that's where I was like, oh, yeah. this is not as fun as yeah. it was for me. But it's cool that it stayed with you. That's oh, all. It's definitely stayed with me. So in September, one of my friends had a birthday and we just put together like a very last minute impromptu, supposed to be casual party. And it was going to be like a holiday party. So you dressed as a different holiday. Right. Oh. We're all following. Um, And so it was very, like, last minute for everyone. Like, he said he was National Walrus Day, like, one of those, like, silly holidays. Because his sister got him a walrus onesie for his birthday. Yeah. And, like, my roommate, she was like, I'll be St. Patrick's Day and just wore green. And I was so busy because, like, I always do the cakes and everything. And that was taking a minute. And um, I was like, I'm going to be Earth Day. And I took it too far. I took it too far. Wait, which one are you? I'm the I'm the one covered in uh, blue paint. Yeah, on my face. Oh wow. Okay. Like on you the, made on that? The, well, I had the unitard, and then I just painted my face. And yeah, I stuck green construction paper to be the continents. <laughs> like, 
I super creative. I was yes, and I was like, this is great. This yeah. is so last minute, very casual. And I came out of my room, and my friends were like, what? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, does this? And I have a video from like when I, cause I was like, hmm, I'm just gonna keep it casual. And then I was like, in my room getting ready, and I was like, what if, what if I put paint on there? A little bit of blue paint. Well, I should add some more and like blend it, get some different colors. And I was like, there was a moment where I was like, what am I doing? And I was like. Well, it is too late now, so no turning back. <laughs> so, yeah, I really like dressing up. I know, I can tell. <laughs> I love it. My birthday party last year was Pirates and Princesses, and my friends actually really dressed up. They really went all out. Some of them bought costumes from Party City. Wow. Pirates and Princesses. Were you a princess or pirate? I was a pirate. Yeah. I was a captain of the ship. I like that. Yeah. Cool. Got a hat. Yeah. Stuck a feather in it. It must have been nuts to be a real pirate back then. Oh, my God, yeah. Also, like, I love the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. They're yeah. so good. They're so good. You know what I think about Jack whenever Sparrow. I'm, um, well, oh, yeah, 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 a little bit. Um, <laughs> At any given moment. <laughs> just always, always thinking about Jack Sparrow. <laughs> He's just always in the back of my head. Well, when I look at those old-timey movies, mm -hmm. I always think how bad the smell was. Like, if you were to take a time machine and go back mm -hmm. to one of those ports, I think the first thing that would hit you as soon as, like, a group of people walk by would be, Whoa. Nobody showers a lot here. There's a lot of BO. But there is also the thing, like, after a while, like, you, your sensory just kind of, like, dulls. Do you think so? If you took a time machine and went well, back? Well, I, I don't know, because it's, like, if you smell something, like, bad, but it doesn't go away, like, eventually, I feel like you just reach that sensory neutral. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So, like, if everyone was stinky, then, oh, like. My gosh. Yeah. Must have been some insane smells back then. Yeah. Gross. On a ship, mm -hmm. you know? People poop. I guess they pooped and peed off the side of the ship. I right? would hope so. Yeah. Is there like or a... Or they probably had the little chamber pot and then they... Yeah. Chuck oh, it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my gosh. That must have smelled like a nightmare. <laughs> oh. You're really painting the picture for yourself, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Like you this. should make a gritty realistic like pirate movie okay like, not... i, I want to do a period piece so badly i think they're so cool yeah like a real pirate thing. like i think a lot of pirate like they make it very cinematic like oh pirate it was cool to be a pirate what if there was just a very <laughs> grounded realistic like being a pirate like sucks yeah like you know self-aware yeah yeah i mean you're a pirate <laughs> you're just your name is just criminal <laughs> You know, you get hung, hanged, hungeth. Oh, like if you get caught. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, in even Pirates of the Caribbean, they branded them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? Ow. And also, surviving with other pirates. Who can you trust? Exactly. I mean, they did have a code. But even that, as they say in Pirates of the Caribbean, it's more of a guideline. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. Those movies were dark for Disney. But they were cinematic masterpieces. Oh, but they were so good. They though. were they were blockbuster <laughs> films. Can we talk about how they gave Mr. Johnny Depp like they treated him horribly after everything came out? Mm -hmm. But can evidence. we talk about that right when we say goodbye to Adobe? Absolutely. Hey, our time at Adobe is done. If you want to watch the full episode, make sure you tune into YouTube tomorrow morning or Spotify or Apple Podcasts, and that's where you can listen to the full episode. Uh, make sure that you follow us on Instagram to know when our latest updates come, and also subscribe to us on YouTube. And uh, yeah, uh, always appreciate you guys. Hey, if you're seriously, if you're listening live, make sure you just subscribe on YouTube as well because we're trying to get you guys over. You guys are like over 30,000 strong on the live numbers, so we want to make sure you guys uh, come to our YouTube channel. We love you, okay? Bye. Um, yeah, they treated him horribly with all that the stuff with Amber Rose, not Amber Rose, Amber something. Was it Heard? Heard, yeah. <laughs> heard. Heard. Uh, Copy that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they fired him from the movies and everything like that before like all the evidence came out and like he had not abused her. It was actually the opposite. The, the opposite. Mm -hmm. She was abusing him physically. And now they're doing the the other Pirates movie without him. And I'm just like, ugh. You can't make those movies without him. I'm sorry. Like, that's that's why I tune in. To yeah. watch him just do his thing. Yeah, he's so good in them. Like, he's such a star. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's, he's, it's like watching a wild stallion just do mm -hmm. its thing. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really yeah, I really liked him in those movies. Mad respect to Pirates of the Caribbean. I like how you put your thumb inside. Did you put it inside or outside? I don't outside? even know. Is there a right or wrong way to do it? I think it's this one. Unless we're... Unless that's... Mad we'll, respect we'll to Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> we're playing it safe. Double thumbs up. <laughs> and the tongue out. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's always interesting meeting somebody for the first time brand new and just talking. Yeah, I'm like, what do you want to chitty chat about? There's so many things. Okay. Oh, that's something I, we didn't get to talk about. I wanted to bring it up. Put a foot a footnote in it. Footnote. Um, that lady who said when guys come up to her. Oh yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So being a young woman, yeah. I'm sure you've been uh, approached by an array of gentlemen, or maybe even females as well. And but specifically like guys, I'm always, I'm always astounded at mm-hmm. the lack of situational awareness whenever they try that. to mm. approach a girl. You know what I mean? Yes. And how they force Mm -hmm. they try to force a conversation or force something or they don't know how to have a conversation oh yeah because like i'm a i'm a good conversationalist i can talk to people but in those situations i'm like let us let's see what let's see what you got yeah so someone came up to me once and they were like hey and i was like hi how are you i'm good how are you good (gasps) oh And then he just kind of slowly walked away, and I was like, "What? Strike out!" <laughs> wow! But then you also get the guys who, for whatever reason, maybe because they're inebriated or what, they. I just I wonder, like, do you guys read from the same cliff notes? Mm, do yeah. you follow the same playbook? Probably. Hey, you have really beautiful eyes. Thank you. Where are we supposed to go with that? Yeah. Where do we go with that? I love redheads. I'm not a natural redhead. What? What was your blonde? Oh, I love blondes. Sorry to disappoint. Well, no, like I love both. I'm like, well, thank goodness you are a fan of my hair color. <laughs> this is so real. <laughs> I wish I can <laughs> imagine this right now. I was at a wedding in in within the past year, and I went with my best friend, and this guy took notice, and he also used the hair color card. I love redheads. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Like, I just got to say, like, you're, like, the most attractive girl I've ever seen. Like, can I can I just kiss you? No. At the wedding? Yes. Oh! Because people, I just, I don't know if it's because so of the wedding. So lonely. But, like, but, yeah, like, <laughs> like, sorry, like, it's not that kind of vibe. And, like, um, we tried playing it off that, like, you know, my, my friend was like, um... Like, oh, we're together. And he's like, I'm okay with that. And I was like, why are you? It wasn't an invitation, dummy. You know what I wish I could do? Like, no one just wants to talk. Like, actually talk. I wish I could wear a ref outfit. Oh, yes. Come in with a whistle. <whistles> okay. We got to stop. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. Come with me, guy. This is what you did wrong. Mm-hmm. Penalty like, box. Yeah, yeah. You can't do that. That's stupid. Let's let, And show him like you a video of what You tried to grab a girl did. to dance without actually asking her? Penalty box. That's so crazy that happened last weekend to my friend you, like let's break that down what you just said yeah grabbing a random stranger like he comes up to her and tries it. to grab her waist and she's like no i have a boyfriend and he's like and turns away and like bro and like that's the thing is like i i don't i don't know i don't know how you're supposed to meet people like i i don't know but i don't really aspire to meet someone at a bar because i know how things are there like no one actually wants to get to know me and so I, i've talked about this with some of my guy friends because someone i know was like i don't know how to like meet girls like i've just given up i'm like okay don't don't do that but like just if you go up to a girl because he was like well girls when they go out they don't want to they don't want to be bothered and i was like you know what sometimes you're right like sometimes i'm I, most of the time i'm there with my friends and i i'm not necessarily looking to get to know a guy in that way right now but that doesn't mean you shouldn't like try. So I said, just like in the future, go up to girls and say like, hey, like, you know, I'm sure you're probably having a good time tonight with your friends. I just wanted to introduce myself. And if you want to get coffee sometime, I'd love to. That's you're so putting simple. The offer I don't, out there yeah, yeah. Without being like, OK, now we have to keep a conversation going. Oh, but I really like this song and I wish I could be dancing right now. Like, yeah. it's just like, boop, boop, like closed. Oh, my gosh. It's it's it's. When it, I don't remember the last time I went out, but I would see sometimes guys at bars 
trying to like charm girls or some mm-hmm. stuff and I'd, I'd be like you can't read she's not interested at all Mm-mm. and and how and you still don't care like that makes they you, think they can force it yeah, yeah. or they I'm, think if they tell you you're pretty mm. I, I don't know that it'll go the way they want like I mean a guy came up to me and was like and he, we, we chatted and I said oh I'm Bailey and you know he told me his name and um then later in the night he was like are we gonna kiss and i was like what's my name (sighs) i'm just so bad with names like i'm so bad with names and i said it's bailey and then i kid you not a few minutes go by again he was like like i just you know i just think you're really cool what's my name I, I, I feel like it starts with an A, like Alyssa. And I was like, and this is why, like, this is not going. The- <laughs> so that's, that's boys. <laughs> you know what, you, you know that it's not men, it's, it's boys. boys. It's boys who don't know how to approach women. And you know what the thing is? Like, nobody teaches you. No. Like, for the most part, growing up. Mm-mm. Like, a lot of people don't have, like, male figures, like, older mm-hmm. male figures. Like, hey, if you want to, if you're interested in a girl, like let you say, go up there, introduce yourself, say, "Hey, I thought you were pretty. Maybe we can grab coffee sometime." Mm-hmm. Uh, and you just go from there. And it's, it's and it's important to ask her, like, "Oh, cool. What do you do for work?" Or like, "Oh, awesome." Yeah. Like, like, you start like off with little questions like that, and mm-hmm. you build up, but you have to be genuine about it. You don't want to seem like you're. I'm. I'm just trying to bag someone tonight. Right. <laughs> Which, if that's your thing, I like. Okay. That's your thing, but like, you're not gonna but, find that thing with me. Like. Right, and also. I don't like it when they try to mix and like uh, like mix and match it. Like, well, I'm I'm actually looking for a girlfriend, but if it happens tonight, it happens to, like no 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 no, you can't. Yeah, like which is it? Yeah, it has to be. It's better if it's one or the other. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it, I don't it's know. it's it's really wild and it doesn't make sense. But. I love watching those pictures, those compilation pictures of people's guys, especially, it just crack me up. Their profile dating pics mm-hmm. and what they put underneath in there to like well one of my friends she just told me the other night she's like guess what and we were like what and she's like i have a boyfriend and we we're like oh my god congratulations how did you meet him like mm. and she said you know a dating app yeah and i was like and so she was like we need to get you on the dating app and i said here's the thing and maybe this is me overthinking but i really i think it's just how i feel about it because most people on dating apps link their social media and if i link my instagram and you go click on my Instagram, oh. you're going to see actress. You're going to see what I do. And then, for like, I just want to meet someone yeah. who they either have to be in the industry, so I feel like they understand, or if they're not in the industry, it that, like, that can't be what we start with. Right. Because also, like, even what you were saying, like, oh, what do you do for work? Like, I lie sometimes. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why? I, 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 I don't know, because you say actor. Yeah. Well, what have you been in? I don't want to have this conversation right now. I don't need to try to prove my actorness to you, my validity, my value. Right, exactly. So sometimes I just say, oh, I work in television film or I work in entertainment, and if they ask, sometimes I say casting because, like, I help out with casting sometimes. But Oh, great. Yeah, so, but, like, I'm. it's just... Bleh. Yeah. So. <sighs> what a weird... So and do LA, better, boys. LA, LA is also weird for that. Yeah. You know? I don't know. No, it, it, it's really, it's, I don't know. But, like, we've also had good experiences. We were at a bar once, and, like, this... Okay, we don't... I don't have a problem. <laughs> but this is just where these things happen. Like, yeah. I just like to go out. Um, but this guy, we were talking to him. It was, like, a restaurant, and we were sitting at the bar. And we kind of started talking because something was on the TV, and me and my friends started talking to him. We spent, like, four hours there. We were having a great time. Oh, cool. And then he was like, yeah, we're actually, like, going out with some friends after this. Like, do you want to come back? We're just going to go back to our place to, like get like change our clothes and everything and we were like wait wait no um (laughs) no but uh like we don't know that could that could be a bad idea like don't kill us but also we have things to do in the morning but like what's your number also like can you walk us to our car so we don't get killed yeah (laughs) we seem to trust you after these four or five hours we've spent together playing pool yeah so like there are ways that like you can get to know people but it's just so hard and i feel like i feel like the problem is is like a lot of those conversations that we're talking about they're not they're not actually conversations it's like are we doing this and it's like we're not doing this and they're like mm. okay moving on and i'm like moving on thank you yeah. yeah so it's really interesting how that works 
If your opener is some sort of physical compliment. Yeah. I like I just don't think it's the compliment that they think it is. Mm. Or in their mind, what's best case scenario? Like they go, Wow, thank you. I no didn't... one's ever told me that before. My eyes are beautiful. Thank you. You wanna go back to my place? Yeah. <laughs> right now. Right now. Well <sighs> Yep. I think I know why. Okay. When Speak you get... on behalf of your uh, gender. <laughs> well, whenever uh, guys like that, you know, who are obviously are attractive and have a mm-hmm. lot of attention from, mm. um, I feel like it's like younger females too, like mm-hmm. a lot of their followings. Like I'd be surprised if it's girls their age yeah. or older. Like mm-hmm. that'd be <laughs> no. you know, women in their 40s yeah. Yeah, looking at that guy who's like, I'm Melissa or whatever. Mm-hmm. Or <laughs> did that yeah. thing. Um, I think because they get so much attention maybe just like from – instagram that they Mm -hmm. feel like they can do that yeah which is so crazy like i have a friend and we we joke he is the most attractive guy we've met and we tell him this all the time shout out noah but um noah what i want to see i want to see what this dude looks like i'll show you right now sorry (laughs) noah i'm i'm hyping you up but we think he's so attractive but like he's and you might look at him and think he's going to be one of those guys that like like you're saying, they they are used to it. Yeah. But he's like such a good guy. Oh. And he's like, you know, kind of like soft spoken and things like that and very considerate. And it's like, what? But now when we go places with him, we see how other girls are like and we're like, Yeah, we're friends with him, no big deal. Yeah. And like they'll come up like we've we've been out and like had girls come up to him and they're like oh hi do you go to because he was wearing like a college shirt and he was like oh no like my sister went there and like oh you know i I was starting next semester i'm starting there next semester so i just thought it'd be nice to know someone and he was like i was like oh my god noah she's trying so hard like Mm, yeah she's trying and was he not interested i guess not or like he i don't know maybe maybe you're nervous about flirting noah but well he does the spartan race so he seems in shape that's great yeah that's a pretty intense race yeah 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 so so that's the thing is like there there's so many variables to it but I totally get what you mean the yeah. guys who have received the consensus that they're attractive yeah. and you can tell that they are aware of it. I used to I don't know be one of those guys. Yeah, I get that vibe. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that's the show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. I used to do a thing where uh, when I was serving tables. Mhm. If I saw like a, if I was serving a group of girls and I mm-hmm. thought one of them was really cute, yeah. I would at some point toward the end. Yeah, so it's not as uncomfortable the whole time. Right. See, mm-hmm. use some common sense yeah. here, and be like, uh, "Hope you ladies have a great day." Um, I actually was, I was wondering if I could ask you guys a question. I'm, I kind of need some help. I really think this girl, and let's say she's wearing, I don't know, like a red shirt and mm, that's like good. a hat, and I'll be like, "I'm." I'm super interested in this like girl. She's she's wearing this red shirt, black hat. She's and you're saying this in front of her. Uh, yeah, in front of the whole group. And I'm like, she's super cute. And uh, I just want to, I'm you know, I I want to know if she would be open for me asking for her number, taking her out or whatever. I just like to get to know her a little bit better. Do you think she'd be receptive to that? Ladies and gentlemen, he's got game. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, like who's gonna say no? If you're doing it genuinely, that's so silly and like cute. And usually it, it worked out, and yeah, and so, yeah, I don't know. That just seems less intrusive. And if they're like, "Well, I think she has a boyfriend," then I'd be like, "And then you're like, ah, what about loud any of and her clear? Friends? Yeah, yeah, loud <laughs> and clear." Anyone else here? <laughs> no, that's that's so creepy to do. No. Got to get to know people somehow. I don't know. No, I, 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 no, I couldn't do that. No, no. <laughs> after you're like, no, anyone else? Anyone? No. <laughs> okay, Shit. well, not with a desperate vibe. <laughs> no but way. But like with a cute, quirky, like. Ah uh, man. No. And you no, want to take do. pity on this guy? <laughs> then it feels weird. What if uh, absolutely not? I start crying at the table. <laughs> Please. Was anyone here attracted to a waiter about yay tall? Kind of funny. Yay tall. Almost was Phil of the future. Uh, this is just a generic gesture. Oh, you should you. This is oh, a generic yeah. gesture. Almost was Phil of the future. Almost, that could oh. be your dating bio. Dude. Are you single? That could be your dating bio. Almost fill of the future. We don't know on this show if I'm single or seeing someone because that's something I never share with uh, the public. Interesting. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Almost fill of the future. I could be single. I could be married. I could um, have a girlfriend. 
I could widowed. be Polly. Sherlock Wid- Holmes widowed. will solve this I love case. that. Yeah. I widowed. <laughs> you love that? That's just like, yeah, it's mysterious. It's mysterious. Um, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I love how we both said that. <laughs> so, so mysterious. So mysterious. So widowed. mysterious. He's widowed. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's, he's so heartbroken. Widow. I can fix oh, him. He's I can fix him. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, also because I don't give a shit about when those celebrity magazines like who's dating who, who got yeah. divorced from her. So it's not a, it's nobody's business but mine. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. Mad respect. I love how we just we're talking about dating for the last like thirty minutes, but I'm like, yeah, nobody's gonna know about my nobody's my situation. Gonna know. How are they gonna know? They're not gonna know. No. Also, sometimes it bothers me, like, you know, you have I have some friends who are kind of famous and you know, they've broken up with people and then they get hate Subtle mail. Subtle flex. <laughs> I have famous friends. I'm we say I'm I have some friends. Yeah. I got some friends. They dated some really important people. <laughs> I won't say who, but <laughs> no, Bailey. <laughs> Keep going. Killing me here. I got to for the sake of the comedy. The jokes are right in themselves. Oh, classic Bailey. Classic. How do you say your last name again? Gavalik. Gavalik. Yep. Classic ga- Gavalik. Yeah. Croatian. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I love how you didn't get my joke in the beginning when I was like, Nigerian? You're like, no, Croatian. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Honestly, I only like half like recognized it. I was just like, oh, like, that's a new one. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Nigerian. <laughs> yeah. Every, it, what do you think of the 20, what is it, 21 in me? The I want to do oh, it. Yeah. I want to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I really yeah. do. Figure out what's going on at my family tree. Yeah. You know. Okay. Okay. Here's the scenario. Yep. You find out your royalty. <laughs> okay. Look how excited you got. Because I immediately thought of the Princess Diaries. I know. Oh, I was gonna say Princess, like Frozen, and all like. But those two, those two. Yeah, 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 yeah Disney. Yeah. yeah. Was there a follow-up? That was just... No, no, I wanted to see your reaction. Oh. Sorry, and I burped, so that's why there was an oh, extra okay. long pause. I don't know why. I'm super burpy. I know why. I'm drinking this right now. Mm. Hey. Hey. How great is Stagecoach so far? Um, Amazing. Yeah. They're really cool. I like them a lot. Yeah, and I don't have to say that at all. Like, I just genuinely mean it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't say it like that. <laughs> well, I just figured they're going to watch this part and be like, nah, I love them. They're really cool. Yeah. No, I, I like them a lot. Mm-hmm. I've had a lot of their um their clients on the show. Yeah. They always bring on cool people. I always like it. D- you know what? Steve said this. He's He said um, somebody was telling him, like, hey, a lot of your cl- – like, the clients we've met of yours, you have, like, a theme. They're all people you want to hang out and work with. Oh. And I'm like, ooh, I love that. Yes. They're all, like, cool people. Work with me. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> work with me. Yeah. 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 I mean, I think so. I, they did a really cool thing. They did like a little mixer meet night for me and a few other girls that are like in my age range. Oh, and it was so cool. And yeah. like we got to like get to know each other. And then we've like seen each other a bit since. And it was like just nice getting to connect with people. So that's actually really smart. Why wasn't I invited at that? Are you are you a, f- a female? And she age said it range? was. A <laughs> I know. Oh, oh! You're doing that thing where no one can tell you're joking. Got it? Oh, well, I did, I, I kind of figured, but I just figured I. Oh my bad! I'm stupid. I said I'm gonna play. <laughs> I'm gonna play the Jenga again. I'm gonna one up it. Don't make it sound like I hit you. <laughs> by Ow! The way, by the way, I guess oh my this god. Is, <laughs> I wait. I'm not. Hitting, Please, him, how could you? I'm not hitting you. Why are you making sound effects for him? Don't really. Don't do it. Cut the cameras. Ow! <laughs> I love how this is video recorded. So, oh, people on the audio. Yeah, think I'm I was gonna you. say there's just an audio version, isn't there? There is. There is. <laughs> gotcha. I'm, gotcha. I'm not beating the shit out of Bailey. Uh huh. <laughs> In your face, listener. <laughs> yeah, he's a nice guy. I don't know if he's single, but just keep that in mind. <laughs> See, the person you want to hang out with. <laughs> Taylor was like, "I think you guys are really gonna click," and I'm gonna be like. Got it. Taylor's great. Yeah. Uh, you want to hear a really funny meeting I had with them? Yes. Because I'm terrible at social media. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, first of all, they know the social media game so well. 
I really, I, I, I really mean that. Mm-hmm. I don't play the social media game well at all. Yeah. I am getting better after the meeting I had with them about posting pictures of myself mm. because I never really liked to do that. Yeah. I would go on these early morning runs and just post pictures of the sunrise. Mm-hmm. And uh, they were like, you should be in those photos. And, and you're I, like, eh, should I? I'm like, it's the sunrise. Yeah. I can't compare to that. <laughs> How, like, shall I compare thee to a s- summer sunrise? <laughs> <laughs> we said. <laughs> that would be the quote under the photo, too. I'm being for real. If, if you go early enough in his Instagram page, it's just nothing no. but sunrise. And it was a quote under it like, good morning, warriors. Yeah. Warriors. Like, yeah. Ew. <laughs> Shut up, Bailey. Shut the fuck up. Okay. okay. <laughs> anyway, I was doing it because mm-hmm. it was very motivating for me. Yeah. It was bettering my life. But mm-hmm. and. You know, I don't know. I always find that interesting, like, that people want to see me rather than a sunrise. That just blew my mind. Yeah. And so I was getting so frustrated with how the game is Mm -hmm. with social media that there was a part of me was like, I feel so frustrated. Like, I'm going to start crying because this is so ridiculous, like what it is. And so I found a nice balance of like, okay, if I'm going to post a picture of myself, it's going to be something that I think either is super funny or it's promoting me or my work in some mm-hmm. way. Because I just wanted to make it all like my yeah. sunrises. I thought that'd be super unique. <laughs> Wait, are you being sarcastic? No, I mean, it's cool. But I'm just trying to think of like what, what would be a good Instagram handle for that? Like, Ooh. I just wanted it to be my name. So people are like, why does this guy post sunrises? And then they learn, they see all the posts. And walks like, with We Sam, you know. Like. Oh, Walks with We Sam. Dude, that could be a podcast www but you'd have to do it on the on the move yeah that's possible get your steps in people you can you imagine would, never, following well, behind you with dude your what's foot. funny is he's talked about how he goes about his walks it'll just be like following a psychopath yeah the entire time yeah i mean some people are into those no I, yeah yeah it would be very hard to listen to because i whenever i do those morning runs mm-hmm. i some well sometimes i imagine that okay i have to get up to the top of the mountain by this time because I have the antidote for my brother because he was bitten by a snake. So I'll look like a crazy person running up the mountain just to get me motivated. Get out of my way! (laughs) My brother! Now that's entertainment. (laughs) We've only got two minutes until the countdown goes off and the bomb is set to strike. I'm following Wayson behind him shouting these things. Are you narrating my my runs? (laughs) Yes. Or like other scenarios. Oh my gosh, yeah. The president's going to make a grave mistake if he doesn't get this information. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I might be going tomorrow morning, so I, that's going to pop into my head at some yeah. point. Yeah. yeah Mr. Go. President, don't press that button. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah. But I don't know what I was saying. They said you have to post about yourself, and so that's what you're working on. Yeah, and, I, and this was a while ago, mm-hmm. and I started getting better at that. Yeah. And so... I think I started a picture with me and my family. Yeah. And I was like surprised by how many people liked it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, okay. If you want to see me, fine. But I just don't feel like I. Okay. All right. It's so just it's so like weird a... because it, it, it becomes me. both like a enjoyment, but also like an obligation. Yeah. And like I even do it where I'm like, oh, I, need to, I need to like, I'm going to be better about posting. And then five weeks go by and I'm like, dang it. I did it again. I didn't post. Yeah. Oh, well. hmm. But what, like, why, I hate that feeling of you, oh, you have to post. You, ha- you I have know, to post. Because I know. then I'm like, well, how do I post? Okay, I post something. I'm not going to get an audition because I posted something. Like, no. I, I really only care about working. Yeah. And, and like, working on my craft. Yeah. Uh, sincerely, and, like, doing this show. Care about Peyton, like, this much. That's it. That's so good. That's it. There's a small sliver of the pie, Peyton. You know how hard it was for me to post, like my last post. Okay. Which, by the way, got a lot of traction. Your Law and Order one. Yeah. That was so good. Yeah. It was so funny. But it was so prepped. So I did a I did a whole thing with my castmates on Law and Order where mm-hmm. I was like, okay, I'm gonna post these whenever the show comes out, but nobody look happy in the mm-hmm. pictures. Like you're annoyed that I'm yeah. taking a picture with you. So I posted, be like, hey everybody, what is it? 
Brand new Law & Order tonight. Here are some of my behind-the-scenes picks of me and my friends. They love me, all in caps. Oh. And then it's all, like, them not wanting to be in the photo with me. Oh, my gosh. Um, So I was surprised, like, oh, wow, that got a lot of traction. Mm-hmm. But it took so much work yeah. to do that one post. Well, do you have your account as a personal page or a business page? Business. See, I don't. I think I would just like being able to study the analytics and like know how many views or how many shares like I would just I would be like ah. oh oh that, you don't get that with person that you get that with the business yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you, yeah like you can see like if someone sent it to someone in a message or like those sort of oh stats. Yeah, yeah 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 and I'm like oh no like that would I don't even like look it's at that already stuff. a hard thing like having to be like likes don't matter like you know so well even for this show we get so many live listeners but it was a lot of work trans like getting those people to go to YouTube. I'm so sorry if the mic just picked up my stomach. I thought you farted. No. We're going to have to edit this out, Bailey. Ah. I'm kidding. Yeah. I, uh, no, I didn't hear you fart. No, it was your stomach. I, no, my stomach's done some weird stuff on the show. Weird noises. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, anyway. Anyway, but, sorry. I didn't mean yeah. to embarrass you. No, it's okay. But yeah. Um, I did not fart. Um, Bailey farted. I did not. <laughs> But what if he edited a fart in there? How upset would you be? We Sam, stop! I didn't do it. Shut up, Bailey. This isn't Frozen Two. This is real life. How dare you? It'll never be Frozen Two. It'll be Frozen Three. Two Frozen, Two Furious. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey versus We Sam. <laughs> well, I'll be the lava prince, and you can be the the frozen princess. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, that's it. No, that's. You gave me the weirdest look. And You're setting yourself up for the advantage. Yeah. No. Yeah. We Sam's world. Not Bailey's world. I like how you did this. This is the Japanese symbol for uh, no. 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 Yeah. Um, it for would just need to be an equal battle, you know? So what What should I be? I don't know, but I just feel like fire versus water, like, I don't know. If you well, have enough ice. Yeah. I'm the lava king. I'll need to run some scenarios, some tests, you know, okay. report back on what our powers are going to be. Uh, dress up in the costumes, post them, tag me in them, and we'll talk about it. Okay, I have an Elsa costume. I also have Princess Anna from Frozen 2, the Frozen 2 outfits. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. I don't know if one of them would fit you, but like it could be a Halloween thing if you want. Mm. Ooh. No, I don't dress up for Halloween. Okay. I don't. I don't. I, uh, oh, you're so cool. I'm not what trying to be cool. What a fun crusher. I Whoa. Know. I don't go to parties and not dress up. Oh, I get so invited cool. and I just don't go. So cool. I'm not going to damper the mood. Too important for parties. Yeah, parties. I just want to work. <laughs> <laughs> we should do a show mm-hmm. where it's just this. Just us talking? No. <laughs> I was like, is that not what this is? No. Like... Like some kind of dichotomy um, where, I don't know, I didn't think this out. I was about to say, can you use dichotomy in a sentence, like in a context clues? Dichotomy? It's like two different things that kind of parallel each other. Okay. But aim at the same, same point. I believe that's a horrible definition of that oh. word. Like, actually, let's look up dichotomy. Yeah. Let's ask Siri. Siri, what does dichotomy mean? A division or contrast between two things that are... Or represented as being opposed or entirely different. Oh, that wasn't okay, too bad. Okay, that was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I was smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm really smart. Me too. Smart people. 4.0 prom queen. 4.0 prom queen. <laughs> Do we have a clip yet, you think? Oh, yeah. Share? I have a bunch. Of t- I, really? I have so many written down. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I want to make sure we have a clip for the show before we end this thing. <laughs> oh, cool. I'm imagining you just... We gotta keep going. We don't have a clip yet. All yeah, right, speed round. What's left? What's left to cover? That's it. This is, that's no, this goes on. You you have a heart out. You gotta go. No, I'm good. Okay, okay. Um, okay, we're gonna wrap this up. That was your stomach. That was see, I. Your stomach. My, your my stomach heart out was, is lunch. Oh. Just kidding. I brought what? a lunch box. Did you really? Yeah. Open it up. I'm not gonna eat on. No, no, no! Don't eat. Oh, that's gonna be like that? ASMR. <laughs> hey, shirt makers, stop with this stuff. This is so annoying. Look at this. Oh my gosh. And now I can't I can't rip it off or else I'll rip the shirt. Oh my gosh. 
Let's see your lunchbox. Sorry, I had to address that. That was bothering me the whole show. This is the life. Is that I a live. new shirt? Oh my gosh. It, um, no, I think it's old. Wow. Pack it. Okay. This is actually going to be interesting. Can we? Is this in the shot? No. Uh, no. It's been blocking her, me the whole time, <laughs> and I'm like, Peyton. This is my show. Oh, you didn't hold it in that time. No, no. Okay. May I? Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. You'll need to hold it up to the camera. Okay. okay. An apple. apple. Healthy choice. Healthy choice. What if I bit a huge <laughs> chunk out of that? I'd be like, well, luckily there's more food. A granola bar. Big Chewy. I have. <laughs> worst name for. <laughs> worst name for. Bar. A salad. Ooh, Caesar. Yes. Okay. I love Caesar salad. Ha homemade homemade uh, uh, dressing. Oh no. Okay. Do you make your dressing homemade? Dude, you know, you know. You me. know what's up. Some oranges. Bizarre. That's my lunch. That is what? Yeah. Wow. Are you gonna wh where where are you gonna eat it? Probably in my car. Really? Yeah. That's adorable. I don't have okay because like I don't have a hard out, but it's just like I uh, I have a callback for um oh. a com like a community musical. Oh, awesome! This afternoon, so we'll break a like, leg. Thank you. So it was like instead of like going to Chick Fil A again, I was like I'll just throw some food in my lunch bag. Fuck, Chick Fil A sounds so good right now. It always does. Oh. It always does. Gotta do it for them nugs. Oh, I want that on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> do you not do it for the nugs? Do it for the nugs. Bailey. What's your sauce of choice? Go. Uh, honey mustard barbecue. Okay. Yeah. It's honey roasted barbecue. Oh, sorry. He used yeah. to be a manager. True fan. Oh. I, I was a manager. <laughs> Were you not a manager? No. Oh, you I took tell a people step that. down here, didn't you? You tell people I was a manager at Chick Fil A. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Keep telling people that though. All right, that's fine. Were you a shift lead? No. Oh, okay. Can you? Still I didn't want to be. Can you get free stuff for me still or no? Oh no, I'm not in that loop anymore. <laughs> you don't know anyone that works there still? No, they're all gone. I know people back at the Oklahoma location, but not oh. in the Burbank one. They anymore. passed. They, yeah, they're gone. Terrible Widowed. fire. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Widowed and fire. <laughs> uh, widowed by fire. This is so. Then thank fire. you for sharing your lunch. Now, is there chicken in that, or is it just a? There is chicken. Okay, good. Gotta Perfect. get protein. Yeah. You know, that's Respect. what keeps you going. Now, you got a call back. Yes. I hope it goes well. Thank you. Um. Sometimes you just. I don't want you to remember this. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just gotta let it go, let it go. Uh, I'm Can't not a singer. Can't hold it back anymore. So yeah. I like the metal version of it. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not it's it's not Idina Menzel, but who's that? Is that a joke? I'm kidding. Got I was it. about to say she's an actress. He's an actor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Also, circling back to the Chick-fil-A thing, the correct yeah. answer was Polynesian sauce. Oh, you're 100% wrong, and that's fine. Oh! That's fine to be 100% wrong on things, but yeah. You know, everyone's got to make a mistake sometimes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You get it. You get it. Yeah. Bailey, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. This was a lot of fun. This was fun. Yeah, we got to do it again sometime. Now Absolutely. that we know each other, the next time you're on, we could... Um, Mm -hmm. There's more to discuss. There's oh, a lot absolutely. More. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to tell you. I was like, you were right. We had a great time. Yes. So, what Tailed a great it. way to start this Saturday morning. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Peyton, play us out. Is there music? There was supposed to be. I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Thanks for. I, I freestyle rap. I can. You freestyle <laughs> rap? Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll bust the beat. We're chilling at the podcast. It's a pastime. Busting out all these super awesome rhymes. It's time to go. We gotta wrap up the show. It's Weasum's world, and that's what we know. And then my stomach. <laughs> it is lunchtime. And that's the clip. Everybody. Mic drop. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, <laughs> remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon and leave a comment to whether uh, you think uh, Frozen 1 or 2 is better. Yes. I think that's the real question mm -hmm. here. Shout out to my mom, who I know will watch this. Oh, what's her name? Eileen. Eileen. That's a beautiful name, Eileen. You raised a great daughter. 
and she's super talented. So we, we love you here at We Sam's World. Um, <laughs> if people want to follow you on Instagram, yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, um, it's just at Bailey Gavalik, which is my name. Yep, there you go. Uh, always remember, listen, think, and then talk. Bye, guys. Bye.